Welcome back to ETV. This week it is Best of Boise Week and returning to tell us about the whole Best of Boise concept is Tara Morgan. Tara, now the whole Best of Boise, explain, could you please? Yeah, you know, well, it's our annual contest that we do. Uh, readers get to vote on all their favorite uh, local businesses and uh, their favorite things to do around town. That's awesome. Now, what are some of the categories that people are voting on here? Uh, you know, we've got everything actually from nightlife to dining to goods and services. I mean, it just covers a really wide swath. That's awesome. Now, we're talking about all the different categories. Um, one of the winners that seems to pop up just about every year is uh, the Flicks. You yeah. Know, for best, what, local cinema? Yeah. Um, the Flicks, every year, uh, the Record Exchange is another winner that keeps coming back. Uh, the Boise Co-op, you know, some of our just favorite local businesses. Very well. cool. Well, we talked with Carol for just a minute to find out exactly what it's like to be a Best of Boise winner. I think it's really fun to think about what's the best. That's why there are 10 best lists for movies every year. And I think, you know, part of being human is that we like to rate things. What's the best? What's the worst? And I, th I think it's a really fun thing. We just think it's so exciting to be labeled the best of Boise. We feel really honored to be voted the best of Boise, and we hope that we win every single year. Very cool. Now, how do you vote? Uh, well, actually, all of our voting is done online now, and so uh, you just log on to BoiseWeekly.com, and up at the very top, uh, there's a little bar that says Best of Boise, and you click on that. Um, all you need is uh, an account with our website, so it's just email and a password. Um, we don't spam you or anything. It's just so you can comment on our website and vote for Best of Boise. Very cool. Now, when you're talking about how easy it is, do you guys have something new this year that we you should do, know about? We do, actually. It's pretty exciting. Uh, we've got these little table tents that we've distributed to local businesses. Um, and so basically there's a little QR code at the bottom, which for people who are unfamiliar with what that is, you can use your smartphone uh, and use an app to scan that and it takes you directly to our voting site and you can vote right there on your phone. So pretty much while you're waiting for your food to show up, you can go ahead and vote for that particular restaurant? Yeah, absolutely. But you do have to fill out at least 20 questions on the questionnaire or else uh, your vote isn't going to be counted. Okay. And then um, are there any other little restrictions that we should know about as far yeah. as voting? Well, um, you know, we highly frown upon ballot stuffing and we can actually that tell. Because never happens, yeah. right? We've had a couple this year so far, but um, we're able to sleuth them out and uh, keep them from influencing the results. The password is IP address. Right. There we go. <laughs> well, very cool. And then how long do they have to get their votes in? Uh, well, voting closes on August 28th, and it's at 11.59 p.m. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And, you, and can, so, you can vote more than once. Uh, you can't. You can only vote once, oh, hence okay. the no ballot stuffing. Okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, actually we've done really well this year so far. We've already had 1,500 votes come in, and last wow. year our total was 1,300. So it's going to be a pretty stellar year for Best of Boise. And talk about every vote counts, huh? Right. Very cool. Well, Tara, we'll wish you the best with uh, Best of Boise. Oh, thank you. And we'll be sure to talk about it again next week as well, just to remind people to get their votes in, because every vote counts. It does. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks. Stick around. More ETV coming up right after this.